1981, I got saved in December of 80, 1981, I remember uh, I told Brother Dustin that God had called me to preach. And I remember the, the first first time I got to preach was at the YWCA where we were holding services there uh, and such. And I remember how nervous I was and everything else. I was 20, 21. Um, but I never would have dreamt that God would do this. Never. Talk about this morning. You know how we just don't know our our time and our plans. But uh, just thinking about it, you know what God has done in those what thirty five years. It's been that long, yeah. Thirty five years, thirty four, thirty five years. Um, kids are all grown up in church. Grandkids are in church. Uh, look back, Steve here. I think I taught you in junior church. Um, probably Freddie the Fly. I don't know if you remember Freddie the Fly. I know your brothers would. Um, I get to marry them here in a couple weeks. Remember the first time that uh, you know he got to preach his ordination. And uh, now I get to be alive. Watch the first time my grand oldest grandson gets to preach. That's a blessing. Not very many people can be so blessed as to be able to experience something like this. I know it's my maybe not as it's it's, it's a big deal to me. Um, it's a big deal. You know, we sing the song, it'll be, you know, uh, be worth it all or whatever. It, it is worth it to see the influences. And uh, I would like to think good influences on on uh, serving the Lord and the people that uh, you've got to have to be a part of. And uh, I appreciate that. I mean, this is, this is a thrill to me. Uh, and uh, I've never, never, you can add, talk, talk, tell my kids, my, ask my kids. I never ever push them to be full time servers. I just said, you do what God wants you to do. Be, and that's what I, that's what I want. I just want you to grow up, serve the Lord, be faithful to church, love your spouse, be good parents, and 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 uh, do whatever God lays on your heart. And but God blessed in in calling one of them into the ministry full time, and then. And uh, and now uh, the grandson uh, and such, the oldest. And uh, I look for more of them uh, and things too. You never know. I mean, God can do anything. But so I'm thrilled to death. I, I think it's just neat. Um, this is a future. I mean, this is our future. He's nine years old, right? Nine years old. And uh, you know, the Lord was only. 12 years old when he was teaching in the temple. And uh, so um, I'm not going to say he's the Lord. I'm just saying that, 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 uh, <laughs> that uh, anyway, <laughs> trust me, he's not, all right? Uh, but uh, but I just, I just to me, it's just a blessing uh, and such. And it, and it just shows you that this works. This works, all right, and, and, and things. And you're really looking at three generations. Right here of preachers, and uh, that that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. So, you ready to do it? All right, get up here and do it. Do it. Thank you. It's an honor to be here and preaching. And turn your Bibles to Exodus ten. Exodus 10 and verse 16. I want to talk about sin and go to a few passages in the Bible that people have sinned. So you're getting to Exodus 10, 16, and it says, Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron with haste. Haste means eagerness. Pharaoh was eager to see Moses and Aaron. Let's keep going. 
And he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Pharaoh would not let the Israelites go. Finally, he let them go after the tenth plague. Later the day Pharaoh let them go, he told his servants to get your horses and chariots and chase after them. When Pharaoh told his servants to chase the children of Israel, they were already at the Red Sea and were crossing it. Pharaoh tried to make it over the sea, but drowned because of the great miracle God performed. Go to Joshua 7. Joshua 7, 21. It says, When I saw among the spoils and goodly Babylonish garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels of weight, then I coveted them and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth, in the earth in the midst of my tent. Achan went through a process. See, covet, steal. When Achan saw the treasure, he could have just walked away, but he coveted and stole the riches. His punishment was that Achan and his family died and the children of Israel go, go on. Now Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53.10. And it says, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days. The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. Toward the beginning of the verse, it says, It pleased the Lord to bruise him. When he died on the cross, he gave us the gift of going to heaven. What is in heaven? First, I'm going to tell you about what will not be in heaven. There will be no earthly light in heaven. Also, no sin or getting hurt means no bruises. Rip, the river of life, mansions, trees, tree of life, angels, and the, and we will be rewarded um, of our works. We'll be in heaven. The river of life is so beautiful. Mansions, we'll get to live in. Tree of life will produce a new fruit every month. Angels, the streets of gold, and we will be rewarded based on our works. <clears throat> there will be all the prophets in heaven, too. We have two more passages to go to. The first one of those is in Romans 3. Romans 3, 23. It says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means if we don't trust in Jesus, we will go to hell. What's hell? The place of punishment that God has made. What is in hell? Demons, lakes of fire, and that's about it that I know. We're going to go to John 3.16. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus gave his only Son just so we could go to heaven. Now I'm going to pray. Dear Lord, thank you for just calling me to this sermon. and Just please bless these people for coming. And just I pray that it will be your will to, for me to keep going on this and be a good preacher.